Hi guys, today we are uh, comparing different BMs together so you all can at the end of the video find out what's the best Beamer that you can get. M4 is kind of a perfect car, like doesn't matter even if you do racing or drifting, it does it both at the same time, you know, it's a really fast drift car as well, like it can be so smooth and slow and it can be a very fast drift car as well. Okay, the M4 is a really good car for drift for a couple of reasons. First of all, the, it has like a 50-50 weight ratio, which makes it like hold the anger for as much as you want. And also, it has a really high RPM, like it easily can reach uh, just about 9000, which is really good. And that helps you a lot when you're drifting. So that's a really positive point for the M4. Okay, unlike a lot of cars, you're not gonna feel any lack of performance or power in this car. Like you're not gonna feel like oh the engine is not delivering the thing you know so the car has like a very decent amount of power i would say it doesn't really even need more especially if you want it for drift maybe if you want it for top speed or something it could be better it still can reach over uh, 440 450 easy if you put a proper tune on it and it has a really good handling if you want to do racing so overall it's like a full package the m4 i suggested over anything that's one of my favorite cards yeah as i was saying i don't think anyone uh, dislike the look of the m4 even interior outer uh, most of the cars don't have quality especially when you go first person in the car to street or car x games like the first person view like the dash and wheel and everything it's not really a good quality in car x games yeah let's be honest but the f4 is one of the like a decent decent ones one of the good looking ones so from the look and the customization and between the kits that you can put on it without any tunes as well like any upgrades or whatever this car can still slide uh i would give this car a 9 out of 10 okay guys also i have to mention that make sure you watch till the end because we're gonna drag race all of the cars like back to back if i do it now you're not gonna really notice you know uh these are drift tunes but still yeah we're gonna do a little power comparison between them as well uh also have to mention that the m4 does not need any engine swap actually if you engine swap it even if you put the ls on the m4 it down great so the stock engine is still better than the LS. But unlike that, in the M2 that I'm driving right now, as you can hear, it had the LS on it. Because the M2 stock engine is so bad, dude. Like, it doesn't deliver the power, especially in low torque. When you're in like third or fourth gear, the car is like perfect fine, yeah? But like when you're in low gear or over fifth, it just doesn't feel like it feels like something is down, you know? You can really feel the lack of the power. Other than the uh, power, like the customization, the look wise, I would say this car is so good. Like I really love the way it looks like, especially with the kit that I'm currently using like the exhaust and everything it just looks so clean so customization ones even first person i really like this car but uh beside that as i said power could be way better the handling is amazing i haven't made this car for racing at all i do not suggest anyone buy m2 for racing just just don't okay trust me don't even try it, it, it's not gonna be good power and rpm wise this car does not deliver what you would want from it so i would say uh, if you're buying it straightforward try to get the ls on it otherwise just don't buy it uh, unless you're really a fan of the m2 you know what i'm saying so you kind of like lose your money and like it goes to waste if you know what i mean and as you can see it can do kind of like high angle reverse entries and all that as well so i would give this car uh, 6 out of a 10 this car is a no compared to m4 uh, next car is the e92 which called uh, m92 in car x and this car is a beast as well i'm running the stock engine and as you can see the rpm nearly hits 9 uh, i haven't tried the top speed or the drag of this car like not even once so i have like no idea but I think this car would do decent. So uh, make sure you stick around till the end of the video that we're gonna like drag race the cars and see like what's good and what's not. But like I would say customization wise, this car is so clean. I really love the way it looks like. Drift, no problem. Race, not sure. And also I have to mention it has a bug as well. As you can see, if you go first person, you can see the neck of your character, which is 
so stupid car xyz bro fix it faster jdm kids might not like your car <laughs> if you're getting this car <laughs> but who gives a fuck nah i said fuck it who gives a damn uh f board <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh, <laughs> yeah i've been called enough sir bro what do you want me to do <laughs> yeah i would give the score seven and a half the next car is the e36 and this car do need the engine swap so stock engine is just a straight no uh, you, you kind of feel like the lack of a power a lot you know especially for drifting maybe racing you'll be like okay that's fine you know uh but if you want it for drifting and you drift like with the tandems or whatever you want to be able to like keep up with people you know whatever car they taking like if i was in a stock car i couldn't stay this close to krisha you know so yeah power wise this car is the no unless you put the hq engine on it only put the hq when you engine swap in a drift car you know don't really put ls on most of the cars there's only a few cars that do need the ls this car doesn't you go with the hq it's not even with gold hq 37 the red v6 one so i won't really rate the rpm as it's like a i just not his own you know oh shit i did a sick entry and you kind of ran me bro yeah power wise mm, no uh, look wise yes it didn't used to look good but after the update uh, like the recent update cars added a new kit and headlights and everything to it and i really like the way it looks now guys just like look at the headlights of this car and like even the taillights everything looks so clean in this thing yeah like i'm doing reverse drift just to show them the headlights bro isn't that a big w isn't that the yeah who else does it where else you see this it does have bone from uh let me, let me flip this car hey uh, bro that's called skills bro see i have a, like a 50 50 weight ratio that uh, makes them really good for drift so yeah that's it from this car yeah i would give this car a six because it's an old car i need an engine uh look wise it's it's really clean but it's not better than the other two i would say the next car m46 this car uh, again do need the engine swap yet yeah? but this car is a beast bro the way it drifts and drives like the handling for the drifting oh my god mama sita bro i don't even know what that means i just say it. but this thing is so good like i love it it was one of my favorites for the drifting handling for a while like i was like locked on this car i was using it every day you have to put the ls engine on it so the rpm is like any other ls car it goes to eight the stock engine would do enough in the roads like this you know unless you want to do crazy shit that i sometimes do so yeah power wise i'm gonna give it a maybe like a six seventy percent is a yes okay for the power handling wise this thing is a diamond bro this thing is so good for the handling wise and uh, we only left with the looks uh this car is amazing but we have two problems actually one problem the car the body kits are not good enough or yeah i would give this car a seven and a half only because the handling is so good even though it's with the ls i would suggest the m2 only for professionals if they like it but this car power wise with the stock engine it takes over the m2 uh, after actually mention that this car is the i think it's the only one that is running a v12 and it has a bunch of power fam. i'm running racing tires now but it feels like i'm running straight tires anyway the uh the last car as you can see it's the only car that has a v12 in this game you got the all right handling i would say it's not the best best i would say yeah, the handling is like a eight and a half of a ten like it's really fine i'm not really sure about the look of it the car is fine itself but the body kits that like car x lets you have like the available kits for it they're not good to be honest there's only one there it's all right and i'm using it so i would say customization wise this car is a no power wise this car is a yes like yes it, it has so much torque bro it got so much power it's a v12 you know what i'm saying so even though it has a really bad rpm like you got seven maximum even though you're like running everything max but still like you don't really feel a lack of power like the power is so good that even with uh, such a bad rpm you don't feel lack of power i would give this car a six half maybe a seven only because of the look as well i would say m4 beats probably 
It might be the driver skill issue as well. Oh shit, yeah, you winning! <laughs> On this time. I don't have NOS as well. I don't have NOS. Let's go no NOS. Come on, also. Yes. Three, two, one, go. We're launching this, baby. I think it's quite even. It might be the server different. Okay. M4 E92. Also, the only thing you should really look at is uh, like the time that it gives at the end. Like when you finish the race, it gives like a time for the car. So that's why you really should look at in order to like who wins or what. Oh, I braked, but I still win. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, that's the list of the cars. Let me know what you think. Like, what was your favorite? What do you think you would prefer? And yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you think. As always, if you're new here, like and sub would be appreciated. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.